So Capcom's first TGS showcase just wrapped up and unfortunately we really didn't get a ton of new information in regards to the Resident Evil franchise. If anything, it was a showcase to announce that there's going to be a showcase next month. <laughs> so next month in October, presumably before October 28th, there will be a brand new Resident Evil showcase where they will talk more about the Village Gold Edition, Resident Evil 4 Remake, and more. So uh, we'll be looking forward to that next month. So hopefully we'll get some more information and maybe more gameplay. As for what they went over today, a lot of it was stuff we had already seen. Them just kind of reiterating the third person mode for Village, which I personally prefer in over the shoulder third person perspective over the first person. So being able to go back through that game and play with the third person perspective is probably going to make it feel much more fresh and fun. We also got to see a little bit more of the Shadow of Rose DLC, which story wise will be taking place inside of the mind of the Mega Mycete that we saw in Resident Evil Village. And because of that things are able to get a little bit more supernatural for example the enemies which kind of look like the regenerators from resident evil 4 crossed with like a dementor kind of thing they they look weird these guys are going to be able to grab you and kill you in one hit so it reminds me a lot of the ivy monsters in resident evil 2 where if you got too close and they grabbed you that was it game over you're dead we also got to see rose actually utilize her powers so she's gonna have the ability to freeze enemies in place and then target their weak spots or if you want just to run away from them so it's pretty cool that they are going to implement rose's powers and it makes sense how we're using them it's not like she's using the powers in the real world and we're force pushing enemies away this makes a little bit more sense since we're in technically a supernatural-esque world with that mega my seat we also got a little bit more gameplay footage uh for the mercenaries edition so we got stuff from chris redfield in there lady d as well as heisenberg which is stuff they've been sprinkling out over the past couple of months so there's nothing new there they do briefly mention resident evil village on macbook as well as the vr version of resident evil village which is going to be pretty crazy. Now, in regards to Resident Evil 4 Remake, we really didn't get a ton of information except for the fact that they are, in fact, going to be releasing Resident Evil 4 Remake for the PlayStation 4 as well. So it's not just strictly a next-gen game, which is kind of bittersweet to me. On the one hand, I was really hoping we would finally get a truly next-gen Resident Evil game to be able to see what it would look like and play like without any type of restrictions was really exciting. So unfortunately, it's not going to be true Truly next gen. But on the plus side of that, people who don't have a PS5 or a new Xbox or a beefy PC, they're going to still be able to experience this game on the PlayStation 4. So that's great. So the more people that get to play, the better. So I can't really complain too much about that. So that's pretty much the video. Again, there wasn't really too much information in regards to Resident Evil at this event. There was a ton of Street Fighter 6 stuff, <laughs> though Ken looks amazing. The Battle Hub stuff looks amazing. Next month is when we'll be looking forward to that Resident Evil showcase. So I am curious. Cordura. I will see you guys in the next video. Please remember to always be excellent to one another.